So after building the routing now it is time to edit or make the edit form. So it, the channel is coming from the, the form itself from the edit plate to the edit plate for the live wire. So first of all we are going to build form but instead of action, normal action and post we are going to use wire submit because we are using live wire. So submit dot prevent the normal behavior of form submit prevent and then equal to the for example a function called update in the class which we, which we are going to build so first of all we are going to make div in this div of course we are going to have form group which is basically a bootstrap class for when building a for uh, when building a form so first of all we'll have label the label will be for name name of the channel and the input will be of course text I'm not I don't have uh, I don't want for example the name and I don't want also the ID I will again do the wire model with a property called name in this case which is I'm going to, I'm going to get from the the class so this is the first one and then of course we need to add also form control just to make it nicer using the bootstrap if I save this one now and go first to the edit class and the channel is I have the channel here so I think it will it will give me an issue let's see because okay now it's it's working fine but of course it'll give me issue because there is no uh, it cannot find the name which is we need to build it also and do the uh, from the form I think so we can say channel dot name let's see if to work now so if I do this way again without validation so we have to do the validation this is the issue with uh, it's not an issue but it's a configuration for uh, life wire but just to make it fine I'm going to leave I'm going to, to make it like name just to make sure that we are going to build it here I will leave the name so let's build everything and then we'll come to the validation so let's me do the other one which is basically the description so this will be slug and then again I'm going to build another one for description description but in this case we are going to have a text area again I don't want the name I don't want the ID okay and then I need this one I will need I will remove the name and ID I'll keep it as four rows and then again also I need to add the class and this one so class form control if I refresh now and I have name slug and description disappear description so after that the description also I want uh, the submit submit will be normal submit button so it will be button submit type submit update I will add class also btn btn primary primary it's a bootstrap class again refresh so we have this information now ready so we are ready but I want to add also in the navigation I want to add a route here it will take me to this route so I'll go to the documentation it is in under the app if we go to the views under the layout app we go down all the way and then okay it should be here so this should be here of class class drop down dash item again this should be test if we go and refresh so it should be test here now just I want to make it as a route we know that we have a name a name for this route so we can go and say for the href can say route channel dot name 
dot uh, edit and then we need to pass the channel which is basically an array uh, this one because we have a relationship we then can do auth auth user we get the user and then we can get the channel out of that so if I refresh now and go back and see if this works okay it disappeared so this is will be the name of the channel here and again I'm going to get the name of the channel by doing same thing here channel dot name go and refresh now if I go to edit it will take me to this page so if I go home for example and then go to the profile or the user drop down go to the name of the channel it will give me to this uh, edit page so what we did basically is just calling the current authenticated user and then get the channel and pass it as variable because for the route uh, model binding and then here I'm just displaying because of the relationship one to one I can get the user the channel for the user and can access the name this is what we did basically so in the next video we'll do the validation and then we can call uh, the data because in live wire we need to make the validation so we can tighten or get the property in this case if you want to do the channel.name channel.slug and so on